Hey guys, it's Brian Storm. This is the secret to passing with aim assist, controls, tricks, and techniques that I'm about to show you guys. If you've never seen this before, then this is the real secret, and that's this aim assist slider found in the controller settings. You can choose to have whatever number you want between 0 and 100. When it's at 0, the game will not help you with your passes at all. That means you only have yourself to blame. When it's at 100, the game will do its best to pass it to the closest person that you're aiming at, unless it's really far out there. Most people like it between 40 and 60, kind of in the middle. I prefer mine at 99, so I can channel the power of Gretzky. But seriously though, I like it fairly high because I would at least like the puck to go to one of my players rather than just go into the boards or just go into like open ice and nobody picks up the puck. Anyway, if you find that your passes are never connecting, make sure to increase this slider. Or if your passes are going to the wrong players, then make sure you decrease the slider. Next up, let's head into controls, just some basic stuff. Using skill stick to aim your passes, you use the left stick. Then you have two options to do a pass with the right trigger or R2, or a saucer pass with the right bumper or R1. The difference between the two are that the saucer pass has a little bit more height when you get rid of it, which means it can jump over opponent's sticks, but it's a little bit harder to receive the puck. Probably even harder to to do a one-timer from it. Lots of controls here, let's zoom in on the ones that involve passing. If you're ever in your own zone, either on a penalty kill or trying to break out and all of your players are really deep in the neutral zone, you can dump the puck by pressing the right bumper and up on the right stick or R1 and up on the right stick. And then in the direction that you want to dump the puck, it's usually best to do it diagonally to not get a delay of game penalty. This will launch the puck really high up into the air and over all of your opponents to get to the receiving player. Chopping the puck is up next, not necessarily a pass, but can be used as one. You press the right stick in and then move it in the direction that you want to move the puck. This only works on loose pucks, but I count it as a pass in case you don't have time to pick up the puck and pass it yourself. Finally, you can cancel a pass by pressing the left bumper or L1 after you hold down the pass button and then decide that you don't really want to pass it anymore. When you do that, you can let go of the pass button and then move around freely. Let's get into some gameplay and talk about some basic Basic passing mechanics before we get into the advanced stuff. If you didn't know, the longer you hold down the pass button, the more powerful the pass is. Your passes are a lot more accurate when you slow down and glide rather than pressing the left stick in to do your passes. Make sure that when you're passing the puck, you're aiming for the player's sticks and you're aiming where they're going so that they can easily receive the pass. It really depends on the strength of your pass as well. If you pass where they currently are, you may end up passing behind them, which will mean that they won't receive the pass. Finally, you can pass through your own players as long as you do a little bit more powerful pass so that the game knows to skip the person in between to get to the person at the end. All right, let's talk about techniques. This first one's called a one-touch pass. It's what happens when you spam the pass button right before your person picks it up, so you can just do a quick and easy pass like this. It's very useful when you win a race to a loose puck and you want to just get rid of it quickly. The easiest passes that you could probably do are the ones that involve passing along the boards. There's no accuracy involved and it's all just based on the power of your pass. It's very useful when your opponent has a great forecheck and pressures you in your own zone so you have to kind of pass back a little bit before pushing up. A little thing that you can do that may benefit your passing is stick handling before the passes. In this case, I always put the puck on my backhand so that the starting position of the pass is a lot further away from my opponent. It causes me to do these passes where I pass from behind my back. It works on the forehand as well, such as in this case, but a lot of it is just protecting the puck before you pass it. Here's also an example of dumping the puck for a pass that my opponent does. It goes over my teammates, but I as yellow was able to intercept it before it got to the opposing player. Passing along the blue line is dangerous as well. If you have no options along the boards, just pass to the middle and one of your defenders with momentum can help you enter the zone. Similarly, if you have no options in the neutral zone, you can pass back a little bit before passing up to create opportunities such as this one, which gives me an easy breakaway. Here's an example of me canceling the pass and you know you've done it right when it shows up on the helpful unhelpful thingamajig as reconsidered pass. That entire time I was looking to do a pass but in the end I canceled it with the left bumper or L1 and went in myself. I personally don't utilize a saucer pass enough but this team we played against utilized it perfectly. Notice how it went right over my stick to give the opponent a breakaway. We'll slow it down a bit because it's pretty beautiful. As my stick just didn't feel like it to intercept this pass, but that'll happen a lot 
with saucer passes. So this clip might seem a little bit dumb, but it has a purpose for if there's a player right next to you that's too close to you, there's no way he's gonna intercept this pass. Additionally, if a person's not looking in your direction when you make the pass, it's a lot harder for them to intercept the puck. So keep that in mind when doing long stretch passes because they just need to get lucky for the puck to hit their skates or their stick. These next passes are really important because you can pass the puck to someone that's about to skate offside because the puck and the skater make it across the blue line at the same time. I feel like the game's very generous in this sense. Similarly, when you enter the offensive zone, you can center a pass to the open ice where you'll expect a player to come from the neutral zone to receive the pass. Here my opponent does it. It's a little bit laggy, but hopefully you get the idea. Speaking of open ice, the most creative players in the game can't find anyone to pass it to, so they pass to the open ice like this into the corner boards to create opportunities. So try to look out for ways to employ this tactic. Let's talk about drop passes, which is letting go of the puck so the person behind you can pick it up. It's done by pressing left trigger and right bumper, or L2 and R1. I find out that they're most useful in the offensive zone and the neutral zone, but if you're playing EA Sports Hockey League, make sure that your teammate is aware that you're going to be doing that so you don't catch him by surprise. Unless you want to catch him by surprise, then go for it. No one's stopping you. Stupid little thing, but if you get tied up on a faceoff, your first instinct should be passing it as soon as you get the puck so that your defense with momentum can get it. Now let's talk about goalie passes. Goalie passes are something that you guys should always be doing just so that it doesn't turn into a faceoff in your zone and you play a game of rock, paper, scissors, which will determine possession of the puck. This can be pretty tough in the higher divisions where your opponent's going to be expecting you to pass out the puck and they're just going to be hovering around the goalie expecting you to pass it out. So you got to get a lot of practice with goalie passing in the lower divisions so that it can prepare you for the higher divisions. The two best tips that I can give you guys regarding goalie passes is always pass it to where your opponent is not, which will usually be behind the net, even if you don't have a player waiting for you there to receive the puck. The next thing is as long as you don't aim for your opponent's stick, it's really easy to pass through your opponent's legs to get to a player. So keep that in mind if a player in front of you is like within hugging distance of your goalie. Also, you can't score on yourself by passing it back as a goalie. There's some kind of like magnetism evolved where he'll always pass it behind the net. And also don't pass it like my opponent does here, which he did by pushing the right stick up. Just pass it along the boards because he gave me another goal. All right, now let's go over some different type of passes that you could do, starting with the stick whack that we talked about earlier by pushing the right stick in, and then, in this case, upward towards my teammate. Notice how it's a battle for a loose puck, and the guy above me goes down to block the pass. The stick whack causes the puck to elevate and get to my teammate. Another type of pass that you can do is a spin pass, left trigger or L2 before you pass it. It helps you get away from a person nearby. It looks really cool, but the problem with it is that you can lose the puck pretty easily. New this year is a between the legs pass, which has a similar idea, and it also gives you an achievement if you care about those. You press the left bumper and right stick in at the same time, or L1 right stick in, pass it and shoot. It was unnecessary here, but it would cause the pass to start from a little bit lower down. Again, easy to lose the puck when you do that move. The last type of pass, not exactly a pass, but that's okay. It's a slap pass. You do this by pulling down on the right stick and then pressing the right trigger or R2 button. I would say this is more of a shot where you're trying to force a deflection by bouncing it off of your teammate's stick. And it's best used when you're shooting from the blue line or from the point. Regardless, I hope this video has helped you guys out in understanding the various techniques and tricks used in passing. Hopefully this will increase your pass percentage. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments.